Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can merge multiple selected cells into one larger cell, or you can split a single selected cell into multiple smaller cells. This is often performed on layout tables in a document in order to create different cells of various sizes into which you can place your desired document content. To merge multiple selected cells into a single cell, first select the cells that you would like to merge into a single cell. Note that the cells that you select must create a rectangular shape. You cannot create a single cell that has an irregular shape. Next, click the Merge Cells button that appears in the Merge group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. The selected cells will be merged into a single cell. To split a single selected cell into multiple smaller cells, start by clicking into the cell that you want to split. Next, click the Split Cells button that appears in the Merge group on the Layout tab in the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. This will open the Split Cells dialog box. In this dialog box, enter the number of columns and rows that you want to create from the selected cell into the text box provided. If you selected multiple cells before choosing the Split Cells command, you will have the option of merging the selected cells before splitting them available. If you want to do this, then you can check the Merge Cells Before Split checkbox. Once you've finished entering the information into the dialog box, just click the OK button to split the cells. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.